What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Offroad Outlaws. Now, if y'all would like to see me do a Valentine's build, I was working on that, but if y'all would like to see that video, let me know down below in the comments right now if you'd like to see the video where I'm covering a full wrap on how to build one of these and, you know, something really cool for it. But that is not what we're here today. We are here today for the new trucks of the week, and these are actually the three-wheel Honda bikes. One of the coolest three-wheelers, you know, I've ever seen. I like the way this one looks. The green, black, and the white kind of contrast between each other very well. Especially the wheels and tires on this one. I like how the lime green on the wheels kind of like, I don't know, they have that vibrant glow to them. It just looks really good. I like this one. So here's the next one. This one is orange. It looks like it has, you know, kind of like some sand tires on the front and the rear. We go back to this first one, this one's got like rock crawler tires on it, maybe some mud tires. But this second one right here has some small tires and sand tires, so it looks like this one's maybe for some Baja racing or, you know, going out and hitting the sand dunes. I also like the way this one looks with the black and the orange. It's a nice design, nice and simple, it doesn't look too bad, nothing overdone on it. Now here's this one, this one is just the simple honda one so basically if you want to do like whistling diesels build or something you could just come in here and buy this one and you already have the straight up honda like look at everything nice and built correctly like everything's just perfect i would probably buy this one just because the way it looks again this one is also pretty simple i just like the way it looks it's nice and we are not going to buy that okay let's go ahead and go over here to this one um, I'm not too fond of this one. I'm guessing this one is made after another one of these Hondas, but I just, I don't know. I don't like this one. I don't like how the rear wheels have orange with the red beadlock and then the front is just straight orange, not even a beadlock on it. If they would have put red beadlock on the front, it could have probably matched it more and would have probably looked a little bit better to me. So honestly, I really would not go with this one. I don't like the way this one looks. But if y'all like it, then, you know, go with it. So looking at this one here, this one actually has way smaller tires than the other small tire one that we were looking at for the dirt. And this one's got a mud tire on the front and some mud tires on the rear, but they're like different designs, aren't they? Or are they the same wheel? I don't think they're the same tire tread. I don't think they're the same pattern. But this one, um... I'm not too sure why the wheels are so small. I guess for the game, so it can be much faster. Or, you know, sometimes vehicles with smaller wheels go a lot faster in the mud than you would think it would. I like the way this one looks, too, with the yellow and the black on this one. They got the Tri-Z, Yamaha. Okay, so this one's basically built after a Yamaha. This one right here, the blue Yamaha edition, this one I actually prefer way more than the Yamaha before this. I just like the way this one looks, where the Yamaha is on the gas tank. I really like that. This one is this one is the Trimoto 200. So it's I guess the 200 edition one. I really like the way this one looks right here. Here's the next one. This one is probably my favorite one out of all of the ones that they did add into the limited editions just because I don't know. I like the way the chrome looks and everything. This one kind of reminds me of a Harley Davidson because of the design on like the where the seats at and the cover and everything for the front wheel. Everything, it just has, you know, that tribal design on it. Kind of reminds me of a Harley Davidson. I really like the way this one looks. Well, guys, if you had to choose between all of these, which one would you go with? If I were to buy one, it would be between this Harley Davidson one and this Honda one right here. Those would be my two choices. Most likely I'd go with the Harley Davidson, but let me know down below in the comments which one you would go with. All right guys, so we were able to actually build my own right here. We did throw the tribal on it. We threw the chrome rims. It is why everything is maxed out and the wheels are maxed out to the biggest rim size and everything. Wheel radius is at point is actually at um 1.4 my bad and then we did throw perfect tuning on it so we're gonna go ahead and take this thing out and we're probably just gonna go to single player and we're gonna go straight to stunt part and we're just gonna see you know like how fast is this what things can we do with it can we jump some cool things all right so we got in the map and so far this thing looks pretty small compared to the character it looks like a little kid's bike let's see how fast this thing goes Okay, it's not that fast at all. I mean, it's already going above 100. You wouldn't see one of these things doing 100 miles per hour. That's crazy. 
Let's go ahead and turn around over here and let's see if it's faster than those side by sides that I tested. Let's see if we can get it above 150 from wall to wall. And let's go. Okay, we're hitting 80. And we hit 100. Okay, we're in fifth gear. Let's see if we can keep this going. Come on, come on. Give me above 150. Nope, 143. Well, this thing is pretty quick, I'd have to say. If it was able to get, you know, 143 miles per hour, that's really fast. Like, most people can't even drive that fast with their cars. Let me go ahead and see if I can do this little backflip right here. Actually, no, let's do a front flip. Okay, that was kind of weird. Landed and sort of like stuck to the ground. But I mean, they do have their barrier sitting right there where it's like extremely close. See so if we can do a backflip on this ramp. Okay, can we land it? No. I thought we would have landed it like on top of the ramp itself. It's not that easy to do. Just like that. That's what I was trying to do right there. Oh, this thing turns like extremely sharp. This is a nice vehicle to use if you ever trying to come out to stunt park and do, you know, all your stunts and stuff with it. Because it seems to work, like, almost perfectly for that. See, even I did that and I still landed it. Well guys, let me know down below in the comments what you think about these three wheelers. Do you own one already in the game, especially when it first came out into the game? Are you going to end up buying one of these from the limited edition or are you not going to buy one? The limited edition ones, they do have, you know, special tunes set on them and stuff. So they could be a little bit faster than, you know, one that you would have. But then that just means the reason why it's faster is because, you know, they spent a lot of time to get the tune down to make it what it is. So basically, it just saves you, you know, the time. So is the money worth your time or is it not worth it? And that's up to you. Oh no. I did not realize there was a double jump. After all the years I've played this. I never really come up here. I've only been up here a few times. No. <laughs> Alright guys. Well that's going to be the end of the video. Let me know down below in the comments what you think about the one that I built. Besides that guys. Please be sure to like and subscribe. And turn on post notifications.